It's going to be an example of how we can take data from a spreadsheet. So we've got a bunch of email addresses, we've got a bunch of names and IDs, and we want to send emails to each one of those users using their IDs and their names within the email. So we're going to be connecting it using app script, connecting to the sheet object, getting the data from the sheet, getting the users, and then looping through each one of the users and sending them an email all with app script. Create the function that you're going to use in order to send the emails. And we're going to need to get the data. And the data is contained within a spreadsheet. So selecting the spreadsheet by its ID. And then going into the function and saving the ID as a string value. And then now let's select the sheet that we want to get the data from. So using the spreadsheet app service, we open by ID. This is where we list out the ID. And then we can get the sheet by name. And the name of the sheet is going to be whatever the string name is for the current sheet that we want to send out. So that right now it's going to be users. So we want to loop through all of the values that are currently within the users sheet. So we need to select the data range and get the data range. And this allows us to select all of the available content. And then from there, we can get the values. And it's going to return back an array of the values that are currently contained within the sheet. So we can, just to make sure that we do have that properly. So this is an array and carrying a bunch of arrays that are each one of the rows of content. So now that we've got the data, we can also get the users list. So notice that within this sheet, the first row is going to be the headings. So we don't want to use the heading data. So we can use data and we can slice starting at index value of one. So it's going to just remove it that first row. And then we can just use the users array using for each. And this is just going to return back the user or the row of data that we have within the spreadsheet. And we can use this to construct the contents. So we can need an email address and the email address is going to be contained within index value of one for that. So take the user and index value of one because the user is actually going to be the array or the row of content. And we can also get the message that we want for the user. So let's construct just a regular string message. I'm going to use the back ticks. So those are the ones, the left of the one on most keyboards. And we want to include the user name. So this is coming from the user with an index value of zero. And then do a new line. And this is just going to be a text-based message. And just write, this is a test. So that's going to be the message that we're sending out. And we're also going to need to have a subject. And I'll also use the back ticks for this one. Info for ID. And we're going to use the user ID here. And that's going to be within the index value of 2. So once we've got all of those parameters set, then we're ready to send the email using the mail app service. And here it requires the first parameter is going to be an email. The next one is going to be the subject. And then the last one is going to be the message that we're sending. So let's run through the code. And then we can go to our inbox and we see that we've sent out emails to all of the users that we had there. So we've got all of the IDs in the subject and then we've got the message being sent out using the user's name and this information is coming directly from the spreadsheet.